Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I've been MIA and I know I'm not gonna keep giving excuses of why I not consistent, why I'm not consistent on YouTube, but I'm trying little by little to um, change that for you guys. Um, today's video, as you guys saw in the title, is a boxy charm. Um, subscription unboxing I guess I will be showing you guys what I received in the month of July on my monthly proxy charm uh, that's the reason why half of my face is already done excuse if the lighting is a little bit off um, I'm trying to like set my lighting a little bit better if you guys want to know what I received in my July boxy charm subscription box then keep on watching um I'm feeling my highlight today this highlight is on point I'll be um, telling you guys uh, what I use or if anything I'll leave it down in the description box below so make sure you check that out and sorry if my hair looks a little bit crazy but it's about that time to wash it and I've been lazy like it's one of the things that I hate the most is to wash my hair believe it or not but please ew, but please don't forget to forget to subscribe to my channel hit that bell notification so it can notify you guys whenever I upload videos don't forget to check out my social media I will leave it everything down in the description box below and let's get to this video hey guys so before we start this video i am gonna apologize for some reason i didn't realize that i was not recording the first like two or three minutes of me introducing you guys the box so that's why i'm actually coming before i finish editing this video and coming and making a separate video basically introducing you guys the box this is how the box looks like um it came in with this ten dollar um, off coupon code that you can use in Ulta as well as this boxy charm card where it has the description of each um, product individually and this is the first product that I was not able to show you guys this is the Luxie guy I don't know if that's the way you pronounce that um, these are the three brushes that came included in the boxy charm for the month of July um, basically came in with these three brushes that you guys will see me use during the video but I was not able to basically get a good description it came in with these three pink wooden um, brushes one is a foundation brush one is a precise crease brush if I'm not mistaken and then the other one is a big large um, eye blending brush so basically you guys will see me use these brushes on unboxing so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and this small brush right here is the 246 precision right crease I just want to know how I'm gonna use this little little thing for my crease but we'll make it work the next thing is a pure the complex the complexion um oh my god my name is really loud um eyelash curler looks just like this i actually already had one of these i really enjoyed i really enjoyed it and we'll be using that today opening and digging more into the box we have three products so we already took out two so we have three more, that's five. So in this box, we got five full-size products. The next one is this Lemmy's, Lemmy's, Lemmy's. Oh my God. If I am butchering any of these words, please let me know how to say it down in the comment section below because I suck at spelling, like certain names. This is a super, the Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. So basically, this is 
Get a shot of a green goddess with a treatment mask that nourishes, smooths, and brightens for softer, smoother, more radiant skin. So I cannot wait to try this out. And from the card, this says that it retails for $35. And I forgot to also mention the other two products. The eyelash curler is retail for $18. And their brushes are retailed for $30. So next thing it is this ultra long lasting liquid lipstick in santorini and it's this bright purpley pinkish lipstick um this retails for 20 dollars and the last product that i was really excited for because they give you sneak peeks here and there on their Instagram I recommend for you guys to check them out is their new butter London what is this it is the new butter London natural goddess eyeshadow palette it looks just like this look at how pretty this packaging is it's wooden all over front front to back and it has these nice flower designs going around it it's beautiful this palette is retail for $32 and when you open it it looks just like this I kind of already put my nail on it it never fails but look at how beautiful these colors are has a little bit of pop of color as well as some neutral shadows um, I do like little swatches for you guys so you guys can see but they're so buttery I was so excited for this palette when I found out that it was going to be on Alangelai's monthly boxy charm. I was like, yes! So I'm only going to swatch a couple of colors because I don't want this video to be like a thousand years long. Oh, look at how beautiful is that blue right there. Also, this little pink. So pretty. And this color right here. Oh, this is so pretty. Look how pretty that is. Sorry, my lighting, my light lighting is not as my lighting is not too good today. But you're beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna use the Luxie 250 large blending brush and the only thing that I'm seeing is that they have these two colors are the only two matte colors Tempris and Femi Fatale Fatale these two right here are the only matte colors everything else has like some sheen or glitter so we're gonna see what we're gonna do um I'm gonna need to use another palette just to have a transition color just because there's no transition color here. So I'm gonna go just real quick to my uh, Physician Formula uh, eyeshadow palette and just grab a transition color real quick. And I'm gonna use the same brush just to like feather that color out towards the crease as a transition let me zoom you guys in just a little bit more so i'm gonna just take that as a transition color and just basically feather it around just like that not much color just so everything else can blend Seriously, just like that. And I apologize once again for the lighting. It sucks today, but we'll make it work. And I don't know if you guys can see really closely, closely, but I microblade my eyebrows so they're peeling a little bit, so they looked a little butchered, a little bit, you know, messed up. But can't wait for them to heal and finally peel off. Okay. So I'm gonna take the same um, large eye, 
blending brush and I'm going to take a little bit of that this color right here is called Tempris and I'm going to just tap it maybe once or twice and take out the excess product and basically just put this on the outer parts of my eye and I'm just going to start blending it in circular motions, feathering it back and forth. And then I'm going to drag a little bit towards the crease, just like that. I like how it looks, but that color looks a little patchy right there. I don't know if it's the brush, but I'm gonna try to take another brush that I have and I'm able to blend that color out because it's just a patchy there. I don't like how I look. I don't know why I'm going like this. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's still a little patchy right there. I don't know why, I don't know if, you know, is the primer that I'm using. Usually I use the same, that it's my concealer and never have a problem with it. But let's see on this side. And then I'm gonna try to blend it out with this smaller brush that I have. This one is from Bad Habit. See if I can try to blend that out a little bit because it is actually applying a little patchy and I am not liking that. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a little bit patchy right there. And I don't, I don't like that. I apply really patchy to this eye. It's like, I'm gonna need to cover it with another shot. I don't know if you guys can see that there. But I'm gonna go in with the color Star. This beautiful green right here. And I'm going to apply that on the brush. And then I'm gonna. I'm gonna spray my brush a little bit with my setting spray just so I can get the most pigment I can from the shadow I, and I do that with all my shadows anyways beautiful I'll apply that all over the lid I'm gonna leave that outer part where I did apply tempers but I'm gonna try to cover up a little bit of, that looks really, really pretty. You guys can see that. Once again, I do apologize, cause this lighting sucks. <laughs> Just like that. So I'm going to clean up the brush with just a napkin and then after that I'm going to take their color Queen that looks just like this it's a beautiful pinkish color and I'm going to apply that in the inner parts of my eye and I'm gonna drag it a little bit going towards the inner part Then once again, I'm going to clean the brush. Brushes are multi-purpose. You can use the brushes for whatever you desire. I'm gonna take this Enchantress, Enchantress, whatever it's called. It's like this pretty um, champagne color and I'm going to highlight my brow bone with this. Just like that. I like that color, it's 
really really pretty I'm gonna go once again with the tempest color and I'm going to try to darken the outer part of the eye without it looking crazy or anything like that I'm gonna go with a smaller brush and apply that on the outer parts of the eye hopefully it does not look muddy because I just don't like how muddy it looks I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Then after that, I'm going to. After that, I'm gonna just. Um, I, I'm dying to use that blue, so I'm gonna just take this Wet and Wild blue eyeliner, and I'm gonna line the bottom. Um, my waterline. Of this color this is the color blue and on um, this is the eye pencil from wet and wild then I'm gonna go in with a small really small precision brush and this one is from Morphe and Jacqueline uh, number JH38 and I'm gonna take that blue light here beautiful blue and I'm going to smudge that on my bottom I'm gonna take the same brush and go a little bit on temperance I'm not even going to like I'm just going to like pack that's it I'm not even gonna bother putting so much because